I want to speak with you about outdoor learning spaces as we ask you to fund some tables for an outdoor classroom. Uh, this year with COVID, we really needed to examine how we used our outdoor space um, as a mitigation measure um, to stop the spread of COVID. And what we learned or were reminded of was that being outdoors really capitalizes on our natural curiosity and wonder. It helps us feel connected to each other and to something bigger than us. And student engagement soars being outside. So we are asking you to fund some outdoor tables for an outdoor learning space. Um, I mean, just imagine drawing trees while sitting next to one or learning about pollinators or photosynthesis by observing nature. With your help, we can make that a reality. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm Tim Kennedy, the media specialist at Meadowbrook. We completed a beautiful remodel this winter and we created a new place for kids to curl up with a good book. Now, we've got the good book part covered, but the curl up part needs a little bit of help. This is the new reading and collaboration area right in the middle of our library. As you can see, it's missing furniture, and that's where you can help. I've got six pieces picked out that are perfect for this space. The kids are gonna love them. If you can help us cover the cost of these items, we'd all really appreciate it. Thank you for considering. I'm Nicole Savansky, I'm the school counselor at Meadowbrook Elementary, and I think a sensory walk would be important for our students at Meadowbrook because our students sometimes need to move more, they might need to take a little motor break and then be ready and able to learn when they head back into the classroom. Sometimes students need that brain-body connection in order to learn better, and so I think a sensory walk would really help our students be able to do this. Part.